Japan has a long, proud tradition of martial arts, and Pride Fighting Championships was the ultimate martial arts stage. The best fighters, 70,000 fans packed into arenas. The Japanese fans have tremendous respect for their fighters. To them, Pride was the embodiment of the samurai spirit, the warrior code of Bushido. In a Pride match, win or lose, both competitors were heroes. The Pride Grand Prix tournaments were the toughest test for a mixed martial artist. Winners had to prove their resilience by beating two top fighters in one night. If you got through that, you proved yourself and to the rest of the world to be the best of the best. The Pride era gave us incredible moments. Dan Henderson holding two simultaneous titles, 13 unbelievable Crow Cup knockouts, or what about the dominating six-year title reign of Vandalay Silva? Pride Fighting Championships is where legends were made. Championships. I'm the fight professor Stephen Quadros alongside El Wapo, Boss Rutten, and welcome to the show. Round number one for Pride Fighting Championships is 10 minutes. It's the enduring round, the endurance round. 
You know, with a round like that, a 10-minute round, you have to fight more strategically, you know? You can't really blow everything out in the first two minutes because you got a lot of time to go. Try to get a takedown if you can. Get that double Boom. Get that he really double dug that kick to the body. Oh! What a blistering body attack! Wow. Good punches to the head. He's not even dazed from it. I thought he was going to be at least a little dizzy. These punches are brutal. And he switches right into southpaw. Always keep your nose on your opponent, I say. Even not your when eyes. you bow. Even when you bow. Now, a lot of guys say keep your eyes on your opponent, but then you can still move your face to the side. No, nose. And there's the mount. Oh, there's a cut. Oh, that cut is getting worse. He better be careful that the referee doesn't stop this one. Oh, straight arm by coming up. He's almost out of that submission. Wow, what a beautiful escape. Just rolled over his shoulder straight in. Oh, 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 beautiful right. Oh, and that's not canvas what we're hearing right now. And back on their feet. A little big of four action here. Don't stand in front of him. Let's go, start go. Oh, you see that straighting blows. One six. Don't stand there. Oh, that was a nice left hook that connected there. And he shoots in and gets the takedown. Pushing him away, trying to create some distance. Boom, left kick to the thigh. That will do some damage. Chopping right hand. What a flurry by Vanderlei Silva. He can deal with the punch, right? I mean, those were some solid shots he took. And he's still standing. And he's got his back. Whoa, nice backdoor escape there. A couple jabs and he's backing up. Man, he can take a punch. Ooh, he can't take too many of those shots. That's dangerous, gotta watch out. Uh-oh, now his opponent is bleeding as well. Oh, oh. That uppercut lifted his head straight up. Oh, man, he caught him with a good knee. And the collar tie. And the ropes are helping him stay standing. That connected. Oh, man, right on the button. And he goes down. Oh, that's it. That's it. It's all over. Quentin Rampage Jackson does it once again. And the referee had to do his job and stop this one based on that. Once again, we see that the referee did the right thing by stopping this one.
Roger will help you work on your takedown defense. Looking stronger already. Move, move!